Hello everybody, thank you so much for joining me today. I'm so very excited to have you here. It's time for my Kindle mystery challenges. I'm very excited. It is like a week late. I totally forgot that the first one opened on November 1st. Totally blanked, but it is the 6th now. So hopefully I didn't miss it. We're gonna go ahead and check that out. Not really gonna get into a big intro or anything like that just because we have three mystery challenges this month. So we've got a lot to cover in this little time. Let's see, we have three this month. I don't know what any of them are, but we'll see. And hopefully, like I said, hopefully I didn't miss one. But since we do have another option this month, hopefully it won't be that big of a deal if something does happen. So this one is National Authors Day. And it says, unlock this achievement when you follow an author between now and December 31st. Okay, let's see. Follow an author. Easy enough. We can, we can crank that out right now really quick. Let's see. I think probably so far one of my, that's not who I was thinking of. I think my favorite like thriller book so far this year has been the Nicola Sanders books. I do really enjoy her books and I am very desperately waiting on another one to come out. So I think that I'm going to follow her. Oop, I did not spell that right. That's okay. Again, if you have not read this book, it is fantastic. I highly recommend you check it out if you want. Of course, you don't have to. Okay, just kidding. I'm already following her. I guess, why don't we just go easy? We'll go easy and we'll do Emily Henry because I feel like everybody wants to see what she's got coming out. I enjoy getting her books. I haven't read any yet, but I just feel like I'm gonna like them. All right, so following Emily Henry officially. Let's see if we unlocked this one yet. Sweet, there we go. We went ahead and unlocked this one. So that's all I had to do for this one, I guess. That was easy enough. Let's go ahead and check out what the next one is gonna be. And that one opens November 14th. And that one says, borrow books, not trouble. So that's the hint for this one. I don't know what that means at all. I don't know, maybe it's gonna be some kind of like mystery or suspense or something like that. But who knows, I'm not quite sure. If you have any ideas or guesses or anything, you can leave them down below. We'll see. I'm curious, but I will be back on the 14th to see what that mystery is. Hopefully if I come back on time, that's the goal. I'm gonna have to have y'all hold me accountable to that because I, maybe I should just set a reminder or something. I don't know, but I did forget the first one. Thankfully it all worked out, we're good. So first one is unlocked and now we have two more to go. So I'll see you in a week and see what we got. Good morning, it is Tuesday, November 14th. So that means it is time to check out our second mystery challenge for this month. I was gonna recap it for you, but you literally just saw it two seconds ago, so I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> Let's see. So the new one for today, it says this one is the Unlimited Reader. I have no idea what that means, but we're gonna see. It says to unlock this achievement when you borrow a title in Kindle Unlimited. So essentially that means that I don't have to read anything, I just have to borrow something. Okay. Let's see. Let's see what we got here then. I feel like this is gonna be kind of lame. Again, these are just kind of boring. <sighs> Let's see. I do this every time I start looking. I don't know if if you've seen or if I keep them in, but I always start just making noise because I'm uncomfortable with the silence. So I'm not gonna do that. At least I'm gonna try not to do that. That's the goal. I don't even know what I'd be in the mood for. I could do science fiction. I just, I really don't know. Actually, I think what I might do for this since it's just downloading one on my Kindle. I am in the middle of reading Great and Precious Things for another video that I'm doing right now. So I think I'm just going to add that to my Kindle so that way I can read that at night if I want to so I don't have to just read it on the book because I'm pretty sure that's on Unlimited. So let's see. I almost did it. I almost, I almost made a noise. <laughs> I said I wasn't gonna do it and then I did it anyways. Read for free, let's see. Let's see if we got a, an achievement. All right, sweet, there we go. Okay, easy enough. Went ahead and got the achievement, so I guess I'm done for this one. Man, these are kind of lame. These aren't very exciting. We'll see what comes next, I think, let's see. So we'll go ahead and check out what the one for the 22nd is. So the hint for this one says skip the lines. So, I don't know. I maybe like a pre-order or something maybe they're gonna want me to pre-order something i don't know which i'm not gonna do that i'm not gonna buy a book when i'm already on unlimited you know what i mean so i'm not gonna be doing that so if that's the case then i would be failing unfortunately i can't even see what the little picture would be behind it so i don't know but apparently that's all we got for today so i guess i will check back in with you on the 22nd so that we can see what that other challenge is 
Hopefully it's reading a book or something. If not, then this is just gonna be a short, quick little video for you, but I guess we'll see then. All right, it's the 22nd today, so that means it's time for our last mystery challenge to be unlocked, so let's see what that is. Very excited. So far, all of these have been just little boring ones, so we'll see if we actually get a book. I honestly wouldn't be surprised if we didn't this month, but who knows? At that point, I don't even know if I'd post it. I guess we'll see. All right, let's get to our mystery challenges. All right, so this one says read it instead. Unlock this achievement when you read any day during Black Friday and Cyber Monday weekends. So we have from November 24th to 27th and we just have to read at, at any point during that time. <sighs> So that'll be good. I don't even know what my schedule's looking like. So I'll probably just pick a book and read it on Black Friday. I don't really know what I want to read at all, to be honest. <laughs> I don't really want to start another book and not be able to finish it this month, but I'm sure that I would be able to. I just finished all of my military romance books, so I don't know if I really want anything romance. I'd probably just pick a thriller or something, but I don't really know. I guess we'll see. I'll think about it and then I'll come back around Black Friday. And I will let you know what I decide that I want to read, obviously, and then we'll read together a little bit. So the lighting's definitely not very great in here, but I'm in a hotel waiting on Nick to come back right now and then we're gonna get lunch. But it is Cyber Monday, so that means that I have to get started on this book. I technically already did start it the other day. I think the other morning I picked it up and read a few chapters, but I didn't get anything on camera because it was literally pitch black in here. I started If You Tell by Greg Olson. Yeah, started this. So far it's kind of interesting. I haven't really gotten to any like good parts yet, but what I've read so far is definitely very odd. So we'll see what happens, see if I like it. I'm definitely not gonna be finishing in this video and I probably will only get like just a snippet of me reading and that's probably gonna be it. It's gonna be such a busy week. And there's not very many like cute angles in this place, unfortunately, but that's okay. I'm just gonna get at it, read a little bit. I'll probably only get a couple chapters in today and then that's gonna be pretty much it of my reading for this video. We have so much to do. We have to get an apartment. We have to get car tags renewed. Just the, there's so much to do and I just don't have a ton of time to be reading. So I apologize, it's gonna be a very short, simple video, but it is the Kindle challenge, so it's what they tell me to do. Can't like stray off the path of this, you know? That'd be weird. chapter seven of I can't even remember what this is called if I tell you I'm actually really enjoying it so far it's very interesting but I didn't get very far because like I said Nick came back at like 10 o'clock in the morning I guess from work and then we have been out and about all day yesterday but I did unlock the achievement so that's all that really matters so we did officially complete all of November's achievements all three of them this time I was not expecting to have three but we did I'm assuming just because they were all kind of boring and there wasn't much to them but that's okay i probably just needed something a little bit simple i had a lot going on this month even though i didn't do a lot of reading i felt like i had so much to do and so much to prepare for nick to come back home so that's been a lot but thankfully he's back home hallelujah honestly i don't even remember what all we did for this one i think that we i think we downloaded a book i think that's what it was i think i downloaded the great and precious things or something like that i did end up reading some of that on my kindle so i didn't just download it for nothing and then the second one i honestly don't even remember what it was maybe i flopped it maybe that was what the second one was and not the first one i don't know did i follow an author that's what it was i think it said to follow an author first and then second i had to just download a book and then i ended up downloading the great and precious things i'm pretty sure and then this one was to just read during the Black Friday to Cyber Monday kind of weekend. So I ended up doing all that. Sorry it was kind of boring. I know that there's not a whole lot in this video, but at the end of the day, that's what they gave me. And this is this is what this is, just completing the challenges that, that, that we got. And the, these are the challenges that we got super boring but that's okay maybe next month they will have something super exciting for Christmas we'll see I don't know I feel like I have a lot of stuff prepared for Christmas or lots of ideas for Christmas whether or not those all get 
completed. I, I don't know. I'm struggling getting a couple of the videos up that I have right now. I'm in the middle of doing those, but it's just been so, so hectic. I Like, it's it's so much <laughs> that we're dealing with right now. We've got like a week to do figure everything out. So, that's fun. But I will get everything situated, hopefully, and then... Nick will be on leave, I won't have to worry about anything, just sit and relax and, and we'll be good. Hopefully this all gets done relatively quickly. I, I don't know what's going on, I really don't, but I will just kind of get everything out when I can get it out. If this ends up going up in December, I apologize again, it's just, there's, there's a lot. But I am gonna just try to push through and get everything out just when I can. I'm probably not gonna necessarily stick to like a strict Friday thing, you know, whatever, it's just gonna be, when I can get it up. And if that's okay with you, then I'm very thankful for you and I appreciate you much more than I could actually express to you. But I think that's it. I think that's all I got for you guys today. But thank you guys so much for joining me. Again, I know this is kind of a boring one, but if you stuck through it, I appreciate it. Hopefully the next one will be better for you. But I hope you have a fabulous rest of your week and I hopefully will get to see you in the next one. See ya. Mm -hmm.